Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Here we have an Ameritron AL811H amplifier. Customer sent it in for repair. So, I'll go over everything here. He had a tube fail. Glass envelope cracked. Arced internally. Plate blockers failed. Blew right up. Goo from inside the caps all over the place. I'll clean it up the best I can. Plate choke damaged in the center, so I'm going to replace the plate choke. I'm going to change the parasitic board at severe heating. So I'll change these three pieces here the two plate blocking caps, the plate choke, the parasitic board. I'm going to take this whole assembly out, ground the grids the proper way, do the bias modification. Clean the input and output rotary switches with deoxid gold and uh, check everything else over. Also needs new SO239 connectors in the back because there's no tension to the pin. One thing a lot of people miss. It's a big no-no to put an open on the output of an amplifier, especially if it's producing output. It cause major failures when that happens. So Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to work and I will be back when it's all set. Stay tuned. Amprepairguy.com 203-892-4119. Hey everybody, amprepairguy.com 203-892-4119. So I'm back with the completed amplifier. Sorry I haven't put a video up in a bit. I uh, went away for a week. I'm back and now overloaded with amplifiers. I got three SBT20s to do after this. And more stuff on the way. There's one of them. And the other one's over there. And the other one's in the box. So, third one. So, okay. So, I'll go over what I did with this. New parasitic board. The other one was just totally burnt up. New set of tubes from Penta Labs. Awesome company. I uh, replaced the plate choke. Grounded the grids. The proper way. Right to the metal. Not through the screws. Had the resistors anyway, so had to all had to come out. So I marked the shaft before I took it out. Someone had messed with a couple of the input coils, so I retuned those. Now they're good. Replaced the SO239s with new silver plated uh, body, uh, gold plated center uh, pin, or you know, clip or whatever. Uh, Teflon dielectric connectors. Cleaned uh, the majority of that black goo out. Did the bias modification. New plate blocking capacitors. Cleaned the black goo off the air variables. Reattached the output safety choke. You never want to forget that. Made sure all the screws were tight, real tight when I put this back in. Because that's the grid connection to the chassis. So this thing is all set. If you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call. 203-892-4119. Oh, also I have to change the meter protection diode. So she's good to go. Full output on all bands. Just want to make a note. When I finish an amplifier, I take a video of it in operation on one band for the customer. So they get to see it in operation. So... Thanks for watching. Take care.